Hello everyone, my name is Norma and today we're going to Mexican restaurants. This has been a very anticipated video of mine. I can't wait to show you some of the Mexican food that I grew up with. But I am very selective and I only want to show you the best of the best. So please keep on watching to see the best Mexican restaurants in Las Vegas. For this spot, they are located on the north side of the Arts District. It is a little bit away from everything, so it's a very quiet area. But the moment that these got here, I don't think it's going to be quiet anymore. I'm beyond excited to show off Leti's because when her original location first opened 10 years ago, Leticia's Cocina, that was my favorite restaurant in the entire city. So now they've opened up a smaller location and this is dedicated to be a little bit more casual and more of a taqueria. What I love about their menu is that everything is reasonably priced and served as small leads. So it's perfectly set up so you could order many dishes and sample more. I think these are some of the most perfect taquitos I've ever had. And you get to choose two flavors. I got the beef and chicken tinga. to say is that I love that these are not rock hard. The tortilla is still a little soft and the chicken inside is still very moist. It has a very tangy taste from the tomatillos and the chipotle. Another great thing is that they serve breakfast all day and I can eat chilaquiles at any time. You can choose either ranchera, tomatillo, guajillo or mole as a sauce. I chose tomatillo, and the sauce is very mildly spicy. They use tomatillos, serrano peppers, lime juice, and cilantro, and these tortilla chips are homemade. I always get asked where you can find some really good menudo and pozole. Well, you guys are in luck, because not only is their menudo and pozole bomb, but here at Leti's, they serve it every day, unlike most Mexican restaurants that only have it on the weekends. In case you've never heard of these, they are tomato-based soups served with hominy. Menudo is made with tripe and the pozole here is made with beef. So in case you're not down with tripe, at least try the pozole. But my personal favorite is the menudo. Leti's also has a great happy hour, Monday to Friday, it's from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. It has both food and drinks on there. And don't miss out on their two-for-one margarita Mondays and $2 taco Tuesdays. Mexican food has so many different styles, but my favorite is going to be the seafood dishes since majority of the country is surrounded by the ocean, so they've had time to perfect it. Now this place I brought you to not only specializes in seafood, but they do it in a very over-the-top way. This restaurant is pretty large in size, yet they always have a line out the door, so that shows how good their food is. Plus, it always feels like a party in here with all the loud Mexican music playing in the background, and they even have a live mariachi band on the weekends. All of their drinks are really cool. They basically took a Mexican staple and put a little alcohol twist to it. Like this first one is the horchata, which is basically a beverage that's made out of rice, milk, cinnamon, and vanilla. And here they added tequila to make it into a margarita. This next one is the tenacatita, which is going to be beer, lime, and tamarindo. This 
gonna be a little bit more sweet and sour. It tastes exactly like the tamarindo candy, but with beer in the drink. The original mangoneda are the ones that you usually buy from a street vendor that comes with a mango, chamoy, and tajin. Uh, but this is basically made into a margarita with tequila, so it's gonna be very sweet and sour as well. So I said the food here can get pretty extravagant, as you can see. This first dish is gonna be the aguachiles al mitotero, which is gonna have cooked shrimp, octopus, and aguachile shrimp, which is a shrimp that is served raw, but it's cooked in a lime and tomato marinade. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, that's spicy. I personally really like aguachile sauce shrimp because the texture is a lot softer. Then all this is going to be submerged in a spicy tomato and lime mixture. Um, you can ask for a mild, or you could be like me and be up to a spicy challenge. This second extravagant dish is what they're most known for, the molcajete azteca. The molcajete does come hot though, so be careful with that. But inside is going to be a big ladle of salsa, served with steak, short ribs, chicken, chorizo, with a side of rice, beans, and tortillas. I just think this is such a fun dish to order. All the meats are seasoned perfectly, the salsa is not too spicy, so it's really easy to eat. Uh, the chorizo is actually my favorite, it's very soft on the inside. And all this is for one person, so you're really getting the bang for your buck on this one. And the best part, the tortillas are made on site. La Mojara Loga currently has three locations in Las Vegas, but they are planning on opening two more. So wherever you are in town, there's going to be one near you. I know Mexican food has a stigma about not being the healthiest food, and it's true a lot of it isn't healthy, but a local chef has decided to challenge that stigma and change things up a bit. I know it's a little hard to picture Mexican food that is good for you, but Chef DJ Flores opened up milpa and is serving bowls, salads, tetelas, and tacos. They have vegan and vegetarian options, and guess what? There's not a single ounce of lard in this place. The tortillas are made from the absolute beginning here. They use a molino that crushes the corn and they use cal instead of lard to make the tortillas. This first dish is a tetela. And to be quite honest, I didn't know what that was until I came here. It's simply a tortilla filled with creamy butternut squash, folded into a triangle and lightly fried to keep its shape. It's such a simple dish, but packed with flavor. And the butternut squash gives off a very light sweetness. It's also topped with salsa matcha, which is made up of cashews, roasted chiles, olive oil, and sesame seeds. It provides such a smoky element to a dish. They even sell jars of these that you can take home with you. Who would have ever thought healthy tacos? Barbacoa is shredded short rib, and it has such a clean taste to it. It gets marinated for 24 hours in chile guajillo, chipotle, and tomatoes, then cooked four to five hours in a banana leaf. Fair warning, I know you're gonna wanna put salsa in your tacos, but this orange one is spicy. It's made out of pure chile de arbol. Make sure you also join them on Tuesday's Taco Takeover, as they have a different local chef each week showcase their own tacos. And they also have a ceviche brunch on Saturdays and Sundays. They also make some really good Mexican themed coffees, like this vegan matcha and horchata latte, and this mazapan cold brew. This place has two of my favorites when it comes to Mexican dishes, seafood and tacos. And I couldn't make a Mexican list without including tacos.
The dishes are known as beach fruit from Baja California, which is where my family is from, Tijuana, and that happens to be where the Bajamar owners are from too. You might not think of ceviche or fish tacos when in Nevada, since majority of the state is a desert, but this is Vegas and we can make almost anything happen. This ceviche tostada looks like it has a whole ocean on here. It has uncooked shrimp that was marinated in lime juice, grilled shrimp, uncooked baked scallops, sashimi style fish, and cooked octopus. And it has like a soy sauce and lime marinade to it. I just think this is the absolute perfect tostada ever. It has so many textures, both raw and cooked fish. If you like sushi, you're gonna like this tostada. If you're gonna try Baja style food, you just have to get the classic fish taco. Here you can get it grilled or battered, and it comes with cabbage, pico de gallo, chipotle, and aioli sauce. Oh, and don't forget to add lime to it. This taco brings me back to when me and my family would go to Ensenada and get fish tacos on the beach. The batter is nice and crunchy, and the fish is very flaky, and I really like the sauce on here, the chipotle aioli, it's very tangy. This is such a comforting taco. It's full of melted cheese, crispy octopus, and a creamy tomatillo sauce. And even if you don't like octopus, I guarantee you'll like this one. Bajarmar has two locations in Las Vegas. One in the southwest area, and one on Las Vegas Boulevard, a block past the strap. It's not the prettiest area, there's a lot of construction always around, but don't mind that, the tacos are worth it. This place can get really busy. Sometimes they have a line even before they open. So make sure you come early or during off-peak hours. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, share it with your friends, and comment below. Tell me what's your favorite Mexican restaurant in Las Vegas. And I also do have a best tacos video in my channel that I made last year. Style's a little different, but I hope you still like it. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Which is the shrimp that is? Oh my god. Oh my god. I mean like I went, oh man. Ah. Totally meant to ask for them to be mild. Um, I forgot. So here I am suffering. Scallops, seashell, and <laughs> Oysters. <laughs> Popular dishes from the end. <laughs> I hate myself. That everything is reasonably priced. Reasonably. Everything is reasonably priced. I can't say reasonably. Reasonably. What I love it. Oh my god. What is this, my voice? Say is that I love that the tortilla is It has a very tangy taste from all the tomato and chocolate. Chocolate. <laughs> Chipotle. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> and I couldn't make a Mexican video without. <laughs> I suck. Alright. The dishes are known as Baja. The dishes are known as Beach Food from Baja California. <laughs> I can't talk. The of the state is a desert. Uh, construction. <laughs> Far to block past the strat. It's not the prettiest area. There's a bunch of construction. <laughs> and loud cars. He's so close. Thanks, He's Jay, for so, helping. He was. I'm here. I know. I'm here for you. This place can get really busy. Sometimes they even get a really long line even before they open. <laughs> and cooked octopus. Um, and it does have like a very lime and um, soy sauce. You're good. You oh, good. Oh, good. Are you good? Oh, my God. Sorry. Good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <everything>. okay. <laughs> no! Don't worry about it. I swear. I swear. You don't need it on there anyway. <laughs> Here. I'm a mess today. <laughs> so big. Wanna see? The best Mexican. So close. I know. I almost had it, but we're just like, go, we ruined it. <laughs>